Senator Gold, last week Senator Dasko shared a poll showing that 69% of Canadians want future governments to continue appointing independent senators. Only 5% of Canadians want to return to the partisan system. However, under our rules, some senators currently hold a de facto veto on voting on independent senators' initiatives. In a recent, recent speech, Senator Delfon also highlighted that the more independent Senate does not yet have rules to ensure fairness, transparency, and due diligence in our process for House of Commons private members' bills. The previous GRO recommended taking action on this issue within the first year of the last Parliament. Senator Gold, should our chamber explore such potential rule changes in the fall? Senator Gold. Thank you for your question, Senator. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you for, uh, for your question. Uh, the GRO is always open to good ideas to advance the modernization of the Senate and would, of course, welcome an, and would of course welcome an open dialogue on how the Senate can best fulfill its duty to carefully review legislation. I would note, colleagues, that a number of proposals have been made, and many senators have ideas about this. Whether, and we're talking now about uh, uh, pri uh, pri private members' bills coming from the other place. As examples include a lottery system, such as they have in the other place. Uh, in that context, the issue would benefit from a more structured and results-oriented dialogue. At, dialogue sorry. My office would be very supportive of the Rules Committee engaging this in order to zero in on an approach that would have broad support across the chamber. Senator Klein. Yes. Senator Gold, on this subject, my focus is Bill C-273, MP Peter Julian's bill to ban the use of corporal punishment on kids in Canada, currently at report stage in the other place and answering TRC call to action six. If Bill C-273 comes to us, would the government like to see a timely and transparent voting process on that bill? Senator Gold. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, let me be clear, the government is committed to, to implementing all of the calls to action stemming from the 2015 final report of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada. Repealing Section 43 would be one more step in accomplish that, that accomplishing that commitment. As repealing it would be in alignment with call to action number six. But more broadly, the, the government shares the view that private members' bills duly passed by the elected House ought to be debated, considered, and voted on in this chamber. 